Welcome to IBM Aspera on Cloud. This video is for users of Aspera files who are now migrating to Aspera on Cloud. Your IBM Aspera team has done months of user testing with files users like yourself, and we've redesigned the interface to make it more intuitive and easier to use. All the features of Aspera files you know and depend on are here, and this video will walk you through them in this new Aspera on Cloud interface. The very biggest difference between Aspera files and Aspera on Cloud is that the sending and sharing functions are now separated into two distinct applications. So instead of accessing your home folder and your packages from the same page, now you switch between the Files app and the Packages app. Let's look first at the Files app. Here you'll perform all your sharing actions, including uploading, sharing folders and assigning permissions, and using public links. Click the folder row to view its contents, to see who else has access to this folder, to change their access permissions if you need to, and to unshare. You can split the screen as before, now using the icon here to access, move, and reorganize content in your Files app. And you can send files and folders, which is a Packages app function, directly from this Files app. Now let's switch to the Packages app and take a look at your sending actions. These are the packages sent to me as an individual. Here are my shared inboxes, which in Aspera files were known as Dropboxes. Click All Inboxes to see a combined list of packages sent to my inbox and to all my shared inboxes. Click a shared inbox name to display the packages list filtered for that shared inbox. This panel shows the other members of this shared inbox. Since I have add permission to this particular shared inbox, I can invite someone to join, giving them permission to send packages only. A couple more things about shared inboxes. Send to one by simply clicking the recipient's field and selecting the inbox name. Note that you can include content directly from your Files app in this package. The metadata fields for this inbox, if any, are on the second page of the form, so click Next to display them and complete the form. And finally, Note that shared inbox packages you've sent, archived, or deleted are in these lists, along with packages from your personal inbox. Now, let's invite someone else to send a package to you. Remember, we are still in this shared inbox. Click here, Share Submission Link, to start. In a shared inbox, you have two types of submission link one for members of this inbox, and one for non-members. For non-members, you configure a link expiration. For both link types, Aspera on Cloud sends an email to your recipient, inviting them to submit content to the shared inbox. Now, let's go back to my inbox. Use this submission link to ask someone to send a package to you as an individual you still have the same access to your workspaces, the transfer monitor, the help center, and your account settings. So there's a quick tour of the main functions and how to accomplish them in this new interface. As you learn your way around, take advantage of the help center. It provides several topics with information specifically developed for those new to the interface. Again, welcome to Aspera on Cloud.